it to get through this here. So does that mean our safe house is compromised too? I'm sure we can't go back there. Uh, seeing as how Alpha Protocol is the one that provided us it to us. I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. And so is Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Saman and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Why? Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Hmm. Or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated. But I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald's son, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. They've got a replacement lined up sense. for him. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Always. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come. Um, if urgent. Succeed, I need to warn someone. No one will listen. I right? know. Not only are you rogue, That's why it's urgent. But Halbeck's gotten inside off a protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. <sighs> no, of course. not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. They used all of us. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Really? Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. Um, let's see. Thrills. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. I don't want revenge. Well, I can't go back to That's the dirty. Doing some traveling and espionage this is why I took this job in the first place. Just nice travel the world, in. see things. I've already met you. I can strike that one off the list. Charming. It's all so downhill from there. Really fun. If you say so. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Hey, no revenge, I said. Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war, they've made a mistake. They're Have they? Cause a real I guess they have. <sighs> Bombs or schools. Bullets or books. Special specialization. Now that you've completed your first operation, it's time to select your specialization. Each specialization favors three skills that can be leveled up to a maximum of 15 ranks. Select commando, spy, or engineer to specialize in combat, infiltration, or tech use, respectively. Alternately, you can choose operatives to select a custom trio of specialized skills. You can also reconfigure any skills you've gained up to this point by using the remove rank to refund AP. Um, good spies are stuff of literature, but great spies don't let themselves become the subject of folklore. A spy specializes in evasion and killing from the shadows. An engineer, knowledge is power, especially when it's knowledge of explosive compounds and sophisticated electronics. An engineer specializes in devices of high impact and low subtility. We're not going to be an engineer because I'm, I'm probably going to go spy. Few things are as dependable and solution oriented as violence and hot lead. Commandos train for situations where they're outnumbered and outgunned, specializing in automatic, automatic weapons and physical conditioning. And operative. The dangerous and morally suspect world of espionage weeds out the rigidly minded. Most agents find their own way through life and specialize in an unor unorthodox variety of skills. Select operative if you wish to choose your own specialized skills. Yeah, we're an operative. I like that one right there. I don't have any AP to um, hand out, unfortunately. Let's see, view skills. There's arrows, but I uh, can't cycle through anything yet. So let's see. Yeah, we'll continue to tweak that, I guess, as we level up then. Um, select skill. I guess I get to select something to bump up a bit. Shadow Operative Basic. Shadow Operative allows an agent to move unseen, though it can only be triggered if no alerted enemy can see you. When activated, you are invisible for the duration of the ability or until you run, fire a weapon, or throw an object. Um, this ability has no effect on technological objectives, objects such as cameras, and I would imagine other stuff, and does not prevent an enemy from hearing you. It lasts six seconds and takes two whole minutes to cool down. Um, I don't really care about sabotage. You know, I'm just gonna 
do this here, select skill, select stealth. And that bumped that up, that gave us more options to choose from. We can now take stealth all the way to shadow operative advanced. And what's that do? Last 12 seconds, 90 second cooldown. And that's the same thing, allows us to move unseen. Evasion advanced, concealment advanced, silent running advanced. That's what allowed us to sneak up on that guy on the bridge. Uh, let's see. Yep, so I guess that's good. I'll leave that there. There's nothing else I can do, right? Oh, I get to select more. So let's see, stealth. Um, technical aptitude, aptitude, no. Martial arts. What would this do? Fury. Sends Mike into an adrenaline rush that increases hand-to-hand -hand damage. Reduces the effectiveness of enemy blocking attempts and slows down the world for a brief period of time. Strike Master, Strike Combo. What's this? Fury Master. I think I'll select Martial Arts. And we have more. Sabotage. Improves the damage of all gadgets and traps. Um, don't really care about gadgets. We'll use them as they are. I don't need to bump them up. Technical Aptitude. Allows us to carry more gadgets in the missions. Reduce downtime for gadgets. That might be useful. Advanced pistol training provides better critical hit capabilities and unlocks the ability to fire multiple shots in the blink of an eye. So let's see, stealth pistols and martial arts, that would be nice. Toughness would of course also be nice. Damage resistance, resilience. Eh, if Mike is killed, hard to kill automatically triggers and keeps Mike clinging to life. Once back on his feet, he has a few seconds of health and a few moments of invulnerability. I think that I will put my points into, um, I'm going to see higher sabotage though actually. Overclock, improved data, hacking cache bonus is a little bit more. Binary invisibility automatically triggers when a camera or auto turret would normally spot Mike and affords a brief moment of invisibility from electronics. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bump up sabotage. So with sabotage and stealth will become invisible to human eyes and invisible eventually to robot eyes. I can select one more thing. Oh, good lord. How many of these classes can I bump up? Technical aptitude. I'm pistols now. There we go. What is going on? Am I doing something wrong? I've got to be doing something wrong. Stealth. Martial arts. Okay, so only three then. Stealth, sabotage, and martial arts. Done. There we go. That's all we've got. Not gonna bump up any weapons. Our fists and our cunning will be our weapons. Yep, and let's save those save those changes. The and, reporter. Uh, the photographer? What about her? Or him? Or Scarlet. them? Her. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. Classified. Was that a question? If so, it's classified. You don't rank. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. It's classified too. Hmm. Does Mike Thornton have a love interest here? So let's see, we have a bunch of new missions now. Mission available, Moscow, Operation Blood Feud, Rome, Operation Day's Vault, um, and Taipei, Operation True Heirs. We've also got new individual information available. Let's see, I want to see Saeed. Dossier completion 100%. He likes us. He's, uh, all of this stuff. Let's see. Did we unlock anything else? Whoops. Gotta be careful with that right click. Shahid is suspected financer of terror bombing. Secret fact. According to the intelligence obtained in Saudi Arabia, Shahid has been working on behalf of Halbeck, using his near diplomatic immunity to act as a go between for a part of the immediate and future profits. Halbeck will reap from the destabilization in these locations. Um, okay. I guess, let's see. What mission should we should we choose then? Moscow, Blood Feud, Rome, or Taipei? I've always been kind of partial to Russia, so how about Moscow? Check that out. Moscow Safe House. Yep, let's go there. Sounds good to me. Moscow Safe House. Use the Safe House to prepare for uh, our future missions. Our handler will be Mina Tang. Reputation is 8. She gives us constant encouragement. An Alpha Protocol Safe House in Moscow, which should serve as a base of operations for attempting to track the path of the missiles 
that were shipped to Saudi Arabia through Moscow. So let's start this. Uh, see what happens. I, I may take a break soon. Been playing for a while. Hope your plane don't get shot down. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. Hey, tell me about it. Company. Care to share? No, not really. Same old Saudi Arabia. Not quite like the brochure, huh? I'm Scarlet. Mike. So, Mike. What brings you to this exciting corner of the world? Mm, oil. I'm an oil financer. I'm in the oil business. My father's been pushing me towards politics, but all I really want to do is manage a baseball team. Kinda that sucks. Familiar? It does. Think you're the first oil guy I've sat next to? So that's me. How about you? Not really much else to do out here besides oil, is there? Those are your legs? Other <laughs> Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Photojournalist. One of the best. Dangerous work around these parts, I'd imagine. If there's no risk, it's not important. I think you're onto something. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Flirtatious. Let's try to scare her away. You might want to stick close then. Maybe I will. You don't really have an option for the next few hours. But after that, well, I have to get some work finished before we land. Okay. Let me know if you do anything scandalous. Will do. <laughs> Creepy, Mr. Thornton. So is there a safe house and a train here? No. Alpha Protocol Safe House Moscow. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Professional. Limited access, secure building, high-speed internet. This will work just fine. Anything else? Like. Like the view. Oh yeah. Mm, let's check it out. For risk, I might have to put up heavy curtains. Always the professional, <laughs> Mike. All right, down to business then. Straightforward. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? Not yet. I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important. Although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. We're gonna tease her a bit here. Some leads too. Plus, they might be able to tell me what bars and strip joints I should hit while I'm here. It's true. If you're trying to make me jealous, <laughs> I'm an international super spy. I have obligations. Just call when you have anything new, hotshot. Will do. So let's see, what do we got around here? Examine the gadget course plaque. Agent Darcy sent me this for ace in the training course. There it is. I misspelled my name, Thornton. A thorn in his side, I bet. Nice little board game there. Okay, well, yeah, I think I'm going to take a break then. Um, and whenever I come back, we will go on our little journey through Moscow here. Is this where we leave? Exit the safe house. Um, what do we got up here real quick? Nice picture of some honeycomb. Ah, oh, Darcy, I miss you, man. Oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points. That's my Sean. There's our computer. See, yep, I like this place already. I think, in fact, I think I like it a whole lot better than our, our Saudi Arabia digs. Okay, well, let's um go ahead and I think we've already checked everything around here. Then open the weapons locker. Let's access our computer. Is there anything we can do on here? Um, we got some email we can go through. One from Scarlet Lake. Pretty slick. Hey, oil man, I forgot to ask. Were you in Saudi Arabia for the big OPEC meeting, or were you hobnobbing with some Saudi prince for drilling rights? On second thought, either answer would bore me, so don't bother. Took me a bit to find your email. You're a hard man to track, but I have my ways. Funny. None of my friends in the fossil fuel biz know a thing about you, which makes you either the low man on the totem pole, or 
Are you more of a behind the scenes type guy? I'm guessing the latter. Assuming you know you don't just lie to random females for the thrill of it, which which puts you in the male majority. But don't flatter yourself. This isn't me stalking you. I just know that anyone on a plane out of Saudi Arabia with a lingering smell of gunpowder on them is a news story waiting to happen. Hey, I took a shower after uh, before I flew out of there. I did have time for that. Uh, gunpowder would have set the dogs off anyways in the airport. Come on. Intel. Should I have been going through this before? This is all receipts, apparently. Intel purchase confirmation. Sniper rifle drop. Dead drop. Good choice, Mikey. Kill some folks for me. I'll have my contact radio me the final position of the drop and update your map. So, good to know for future missions. Where I get stuff dropped in. They'll, they'll have it marked on the map. Intel purchase confirmation. False attack. Attention to Landschnecht. Your services are required for supplemental support of a 17-8B sortie. Authorization Redwolf Babylon Actual. I will require a screening action west of Zalem to draw away firepower from my position. I will send the required 10% down payment immediately. Please contact S. Darcy at Halbeck.com for payment in full. Full confidentiality is required on this matter. Let's see previous Landschnecht solutions. The leading name in security services. Fully licensed member of the PSK. Currently taking requests for short term contracts in Asia Minor and Africa. All details confidential and off the record, unless you pay us enough. Operation Desert Spear. Um, what was this one about? Intel purchase confirmation for some security information. Hello, sir or madam. We have assembled a composite photography layout of the location indicated. Included are some areas where satellite observations indicated low foot traffic. Maybe I should start looking at my map a little bit more often. Good to know for the future. Enclosed are files ripped from Interpol regarding Al Samed. FBI and Interpol data files on the terrorist organization known as Al Samed available for sale. Um, let's see, this one cost us a pretty penny. You know I would happily sell you anything I have in stock. But those armaments are gone from my warehouse, stolen by, my, by a former associate of mine. What a surprise to hear my, that, that my competitor and so-called friend of Nasri now has those weapons in stock and is getting ready to sell them to Al Samed. Nasri is friends with the prince, so no court in the land would give me justice. I'll try to find someone to take back with us rightfully mine and have them send your way. From Murad. Previous email intercept regarding weapon shipment. Operation Bug, uh, Operation Desert Spear, Bug Smart Airfield. Happily provide you with a detailed map. Okay. So now I know. Check my map for um, drop locations. And if I buy intel, apparently we can also see um, low foot traffic areas, maybe high traffic areas. Um, I have to start paying more attention to my intel. Being a little bit less gun ho. Mina Tang, your cover email. Welcome aboard. Let's see what Shahid has to say. Common enemies. Mr. Thornton. If you are reading this, you escaped Saudi Arabia. You have had time to think on what has happened. Your government has branded you a terrorist. You will be hunted as I have been. They will not take you alive, and they will not allow you to spread the word of the missiles that were sold to me. Consider this. Your enemy is not Al Samed. Your enemy is Halbeck, and its allies elsewhere in the world. They have suppliers in Moscow, and in Rome they split, they spit on our beliefs even as they deal with us in exchange for bombs and support. They move forward in Taipei, all described in the information I have given you. Research the dossier of Henry Leland. Dig deeply into the information on Halbeck Corporation and their master, and you will find our common enemy. Leland is a hollow man, one who respects no boundaries, chained in the accumulation of power purchased in blood. You will not hear from me for some time. We will meet face to face again at the time of my choosing. Only then shall I give you the help I promised. I am a man of my word. And, as you could not pull the trigger on me, that marks you as a man at least willing to listen to reason. Signed, S. Hopefully he turns out to be a valuable ally. And who is the name of the guy? Leland something? Henry Leland. Mina Tang, you're quite welcome. I, I appreciate the pleasantries. Though I'd wager after a month or two at the agency, you'll lose whatever good graces you learned in life before the protocol. Stay sharp. This job will kill you. 
Previous, thanks for the warm welcome. Glad to be part of the team. Um, let's see, Shahid. I'm gonna archive that one for sure. Don't much care for anything else. Sean Darcy, what do you call a bunch of terrorists dead in a detention center? A good start. Yeah, he hasn't been out into the field very much, so he is, of course, always bloodthirsty. Bug the airfield. Happily provide you with a detailed map. Um, let's see what the clearinghouse has to offer us. $39,000. I'm still not sure if I want to spend any of it or continue saving it. Um, do I have any better stealth armor? SWAT. Reinforced joints. Increases endurance? No. Slightly increases re recoil control. I'm going to buy those. As much as I hate shooting people. Um, whoops. Switch back to buy. I'm never going to get the hang of that. Shock pads. There we go. Buy that. And gadgets. First aid kit. I will buy a few more of those, actually. Explosive grenade. No. Let's buy some EMP stuff, though. If I can. And they might not have any listed here. What do we got? Investigate the weapon shipment. Intel on Dimitri Dragon. Dragon is known to be a high-ranking memo member of Braco's gang. Of course we're going to buy it. We're going to buy all the intel. Investigate the weapon shipments. Additional supplies added to mission area. A disgruntled guard is willing to divulge the whereabouts of hidden caches if the price is right. Sounds good to me. Weapons and armor for free, maybe? Uh, sniper rifle dead drop. For a small fee, a courier can be hired to leave a rifle stashed on the scene for you to use. Yes, we'll do. We'll try this again, and this time I will um, consult my map. Investigate the weapon shipments. Dossier information on the VCI. Purchasing this intel will expand your dossier on the Veteran Combat Initiative Corporation. Um, I have no idea who they are, but let's find out. Um, dossier information on Grigori. Purchasing this intel will expand your dossier on one of Moscow's most influential underground information brokers, Grigori. That is awfully expensive. I'm probably buying the information about Grigori. Directly from Grigori. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to wait on this one at least. Um, hopefully it'll be there after the next mission. Assault Laz Lazo's yacht and retrieve data. Bribing Lazo's security staff will no doubt yield helpful information. They were cheap to bribe. And we're going to wait on the other stuff, though. So let's see. Hopefully I don't have to use this. I want to upgrade my pistol a little bit more if I can. A balanced clip. It removes damage a little bit. A lighter pistol barrel. Damage stability. What do I need? This clearing house is not very good unless I'm missing something. They don't even have trank darts, it's just straight up pistol ammo. I own 145 of those, so I don't need it. Let's see, we will buy... Um, I guess I've already got the laser sight. Lighter pistol barrel. I'm going to keep my silencer, I don't want to replace that. If I have to kill someone, hopefully I can do it silently. Magazine slot in increases recoil control. I don't think there's any even any change at all. I don't like this clearinghouse. <laughs> I guess I'm going to save my money. Hell, we'll, we, I will buy this information. There we go. Unlock dossier info on VCI. Unlock dossier info on Grigori. There we go. Thank you, computer. Let's see. Thank you, Darcy. I'm sure he had some part in all of this information that we're getting. So let's see. Intel... Um, contact to the Gregorian informant. What do we got here under factions? We have the Alpha Protocol faction that we've already read through a lot. Pretty sure I know all of that. The al Samad, I think we already brushed up on that. The Russian Mafia. Organized crime has a foothold in almost every corner of the world, and Russia is no different. In the wake of the collapse of the Soviet Union, however, the Russian Mafia bolstered its ranks with corrupt intelligence agents and soldiers from the Afghan and Chechen wars making them even more dangerous. Uh, CIA agents... Halbeck. Let's see. The company was acquired by Robert Halbeck in 1927. Where are you at, Henry? Do we know anything on you? Profits have slowed for the company since the cessation of the Cold War. 
and the small-scale military strikes of the 1980s and early 1990s, leading to the recent downsizing and closing of multiple offices worldwide. Although the controlling interest is held by CEO Henry Leland and the board of directors, the directors have been showing concern in, regard, in regards to the company's future. Despite reassurances by Leland that Halbeck is merely going through a restructuring period. They're changing up uh, their game plan a little bit. Veteran Combat Initiative. Founded in 1998. A private military company security firm. Founded by a handful of ex-military professionals, the Veteran Combat Initiative is a private military company and security firm. It operates multiple tactical training facilities and has participated in dozens of conflicts and peacekeeping actions around the world. Boasting that it trains more than 60,000 people a year, the VCI takes special care to recruit specialists and various experienced military personnel as advisors and instructors. Sounds like they're a whole bucket of fun. Um, what do we got here? Factions? What about individuals? We got Westridge, Parker, Shahid. He's 100% complete. Pretty sure we already checked all his stuff. Darcy. To make matters worse, Darcy's position at the CIA and the Ghana Alpha Protocol has been made extra safe at the request of his father, Senator Patrick Darcy. He'll probably never see field action, and it's going to drive him crazy. Grigori. Grigory Pazenhov has existed in the background of the seedier side of the city for decades, feeding choice bits of information to the interested parties for the right price. An educated man, he received his degree in physics and philosophy from Lomonosov Moscow State University and graduated near the top of his class. Grigory has a reputation for accuracy, but not for discretion, as he is reportedly willing to give up contacts and the names of locations of anyone requesting information if the price is high enough. Whatever his intent, he has a talent for what information to divulge to whom, and for how much, and reportedly has gained and lost a small fortune as an information broker and a contact for black marketers in the weapons trade around Moscow. Though factions within Moscow have not always been happy with the intel Grigory has provided, his insider knowledge has kept him in good standing with whatever groups have held power. More recently, since the faction of the Russian Mafia he was closest to has changed hands, he has withdrawn from mob dealings, but has far from retired. And there's our buddy Leland. Age 39, Chief Executive Officer of Halbeck Corp. Born in Newport, Rhode Island, Henry Leland's involvement in the Halbeck Corporation began immediately after he graduated college. When his close friend and mentor, Robert James Halbeck III, hired him as one of the top executives at the company. Leland's ingenuity and business strategies did not disappoint. From his hiring in 1977, Leland was able to make wise investments and use his own connections to secure numerous profitable contracts for Halbeck, speedily working his way up to the position of Chief Intel te or Chief Technology Officer. Mina, a reputation of nine, she really likes us. Maybe likes us too much. Nazri, he is the jerk. He doesn't let people laugh or party or joke around. Sung. There's Scarlet. Widely regarded as one of the best photojournalists in the world, Scarlet Lake has won multiple awards for her work, especially covering notoriously dangerous areas and subjects, and has been wooed by many magazines and press agencies eager to win the exclusive rights to her services. Intelligent, charming, and well-traveled. Scarlet has a reputation for professionalism that ensures she is well spoken of by many in her field. Many people brag that they know her well, although with the frequency she travels, it is doubtful that they do. And that's it for all the information I think that we've got. I'm actually going to have to go take a break and get a drink after this to wake up. And these are the missions that we've got here. I almost put myself to sleep. I apologize to you guys. Let's see. Uh, Moscow, Rome, and Taipei. We can go operate out of any of these three areas, but we're going to stick to Moscow for now. Um, whenever we come back, let's see, Laz Assault Lazo's Yacht, right in the middle of Moscow. That would be a great first move. Welcome to the city, let's do a direct assault right in the middle of everything on a millionaire's yacht. Contact, contact Grigory the informant. He blabs his mouth to everyone. It wouldn't be long before people knew that I was in town. He may be more trouble than he's even worth. Um, or something simple. 
and straightforward on the outside of town. The thing, the, the thing I came here, here to do, actually, investigate weapon shipment. I think this is what we'll be doing. Um, let's see. Investigate the weapon shipment. Find the Halbeck missiles being shipped through Moscow. Our handler will be Mina Tang. Um, constant encouragement. An extra 15 endurance. Halbeck's prototype missiles are being moved through Leningradsky Station in Moscow on the cargo train Baran. Find the train and search it for clues to its destination. So, um, yeah, whenever we come back... Let's see, I got gloves, don't I? Arm guards, ooh. What's arm guards do? Increases strike damage. Slightly increases recoil control. I think I'm going to put... Um, man. No, shock pads. Uh, we'll get dressed first. Let's see. The gun. Got an accelerator. It adds recoil. Yeah, it'll make my gun recoil more. Or wait. Increases damage. Re yeah. It'll add more recoil. The gun will jump more. But it'll do more damage when it hits. Not worth it. Um, back up. Let's see, magazines. Didn't pick up anything there. Accessories. Nothing there. And what about you, little pistol friend? No magazines. We got calibrated pistol recoil springs. Increases recoil control. Now we're going to tweak this gun out just a little bit more. Man, this thing's becoming a lean, mean killing machine. It needs to be a tranquilizing machine. I need to maybe fly somewhere and stock up on trink darts after this. Let's see. Gadgets, first aid kit. What do we got over here in gadget 3? Explosive grenades, remote mine, a flashbang. Yeah, we'll take a flashbang. That could come in useful. Um, and actually, real quick, I want to check the clearing house. See if we can buy more flashbangs. Anything, anything, anything. Explosive, incendiary bomb. Nope. So whenever we come back, we will be starting the mission. I'm going to take a small break. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go into this mission and start scouting around. See what Moscow has to offer us.